Teddy bears make great gifts and the gift means even more when it's a sentimental item that's creatively handcrafted. It's for this reason that Michelle Nietling from Honeydew Bears started her teddy bear business to share her love for this gratifying craft. I started this hobby in 1997. I spent many a year in the corporate environment and decided I needed a change. I learned how to make my first bear and really and truly was hooked from there. Strangely enough, the business where I used to buy from came up for sale. The lady was wanting to retire and I bought the business over in 2005. So from then the business has really gone from strength to strength. I've brought in a lot of new designs and a lot of different techniques from, from many years ago. So it is a, a hobby that keeps evolving. Known for their appearance in children's stories, music, movies and historical museums, teddy bears have a rich history which makes them popular amongst people of all ages. The origin of the teddy bear is actually a very interesting fact. The teddy bear was born in 1902 during Theodore Roosevelt's inauguration. He was taken down uh, shooting somewhere down in Mississippi and there were no bears for him to hunt and they then found a bear tied it to a tree and actually placed it there for him to shoot. And when he came down he took one look at this poor bear and he said there's no way he could shoot this bear. And a cartoonist in fact drew a picture of Theodore Roosevelt and they called it Teddy's Bear. Drawing the line in Mississippi in fact was the name of the cartoon and it was there from that became Teddy's Bear. There were a couple of black bears that were then used in his inauguration and that's really where the name Teddy Bear came from. Teddy Bear making is a practical craft that can be done almost anywhere. Whether you're waiting to pick up the kids, watching TV or even at the car wash, you can craft along. Teddy Bear making is such a fun and rewarding hobby. To make it easier for everybody and more accessible, we pack kits of our teddy bears. For example, this is a bear we're busy packing right now. This is our process on the table over here. We have a process line and at the end you will have this bear that you can take home and make yourself. Moe comes in lots of different forms and different textures. For example, we have some curly mohair, we have tipped mohair. Each process here is a different process that it goes through at the factory to tip it or to curl it, for example. This is what's called a distressed mohair. It hasn't got any specific slant to it. It goes in many different forms. This is an alpaca, which comes from the alpaca. A mohair, of course, as we know, comes from the Angora goat. This comes from the alpaca, which gives uh, also quite a nice fuzzy feel to it. So mohairs really are your Rolls Royce of fabric that we like to use on our teddy bears. There's a lot of things you can use. This is really what lends itself to teddy bear making and makes your teddy bear really, really beautiful. For example, the character of this one, she's made to look like a butterfly. She has eyelids and eyelashes. So really the face is a lot of what holds the character of your bear. The trimming of the face is very important. You'd see she has been trimmed, for example. This one hasn't been trimmed. This guy here has a beard, so he's meant to look really nice and old. This one is also old and tatty, and we've actually plucked around the face to, to give it that clear look. He's also got a little bit of airbrushing on him. Airbrushing is something we love to use in teddy bear making. It gives depth on the face. You'll see behind the eyes, we always use a little bit of airbrushing. And this, for example, is exactly the same cat that has been done. And this one is, is not airbrushed and this one is airbrushed. So it's exactly the same cat. But just by adding a little bit of color, you can make quite a difference to, to an item. We say teddy bears are really for everybody from 0 to 90. You could, everybody loves a teddy bear as a gift. We would say that normally it's more of an adult hobby. Uh, 16 up we would say you could be making teddy bears we do have a couple that are, are specially made for children but they'd need to sit with mom or gran and really get a little bit of help with them but it's a really really wonderful hobby and it's it's an awesome gift to give somebody that you've made yourself and you've put a little bit of love in it as with any craft practice makes perfect there are a few challenges to getting things just right but once you've mastered the techniques the process becomes a pleasure